got the winner's bracket. We've got Vultra, our second overall seed, against LSA Esports, who coming into this week are the 10th seed. Well, we're ready to get underway. The winner at, that wins two out of three here in this one will be the third team to advance to next month's quarterfinals. And uh, The thing about Archimedes is Archimedes is unloading the harvester faster, isn't it? And yeah, and the grain the... cart. Anything really that has grain, grain in it. Faster. The big haul trailer too, if you happen to have that team perk. But I don't think that's that important. I don't think because... you're wrong either. Like I like it's not super important um, because teams are usually just canceling each other out anyways. Yeah. Speed and, isn't and, often and a key it... when it comes to it. No. And I and I, I think that's probably I, I I think that is something teams have left over from the days when they were all doing big haul and right. and speed did become important at that point. I think these I I think LSA has a really good idea here. Disrupt elsewhere and don't worry about Archimedes. Yeah, I'm just I'm curious why though the Fent Baylor. Of all the Baylors, you could ban for a point. Uh, the, the one is the smallest. The Fent is the fastest. 129. The John Deere goes as fast Points. as the Fent and is less powerful. Yeah. But it has more of a fill volume. So, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I haven't paid, I guess, close enough attention if Vulture likes that one. Maybe LSA knows something. 129 to 111, so... Vulture with a good first bail. Not too bad for Bailers. LSA. 300 horsepower. It's, yeah, it's the fastest work speed for the smallest volume. Yeah. So the, the Kuhn Baylor uh, only requires 150 horsepower, but only goes 20 kilometers per hour. Uh, and requires the same amount of, of fill. And the same is true with the case. Right. So the case requires 200, only works at 20, but has uh, 3,600 and takes three bales. So, yeah. It's a bit overkill, isn't it? Having this joint far pulling the Coon Baylor. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> Very interesting. 30 seconds away from the 12th minute drops. We've actually had 12th minute drops picked up once or twice today. They largely go ignored throughout an entire tournament. So it's been nice to see that. We'll see if these will be worth going for, though. It's been a great day of action so far. We've got uh, hmm. Trelleborg advanced earlier on. And so did... Bednar, right? Or am I sleep deprived? Uh, Bednar, yes. Bednar yes. went through. Thank you. <laughs> like second guessing myself. Yeah, I was trying to think it because it wasn't John Deere and it wasn't um. Yeah, yeah, it was Bednar. The other team, and now I feel really bad for getting their yeah. name. Yeah. Feel please. Feel please. Uh, so yeah. And speed up or bail drop, and Anton is going for speed up. Which is probably a good one to have around now. It will allow them to uh, harvest more grain and create more straw and get uh, the uh, grain there slightly quicker. Whereas Valtra is going for also speed up. Yeah, Badge, you're, you're not wrong, but at the same time, Big Daddy has never done it in an official tournament, and Vultures Martin used to have the record for 139. So, first bail points, like, 130 plus is not really as highly sought after in the FSL as it once was, because I don't know why, but here recently in the past few tournaments, we've seen maybe, like, one or two times it's gone to like 132 or so but they're not putting as much of a think, focus on getting like 135 I, plus as they once were i think we had a 134 today which is I impressive think, i think we've had a yeah was I that trellaborg or was that martin from vulture from... earlier 
was either uh, it was either Voltro or uh, Trelleborg. Can't yeah. remember which. I think it might have been Martin earlier, but a one thirty four. And oh, where is Martin headed? He's going for ah, the I ideal. See it. No, it's hidden it's just tractor. the other side of the ideal. When he failed to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Linux hooking up to the case baler. That is a nice baler. I like that thing. That is. I am so pleased to see uh, that and uh, and its New Holland equivalent in uh, in FS22. Ball they are beauties. Martin hooking up to the Coon baler. So nine minutes, 20 seconds to go. Still only the first bail points on the board. Both teams' multipliers are even. At two apiece. Two bales created so far for LSA. Five for uh, Voltra. So Voltra actually creating bales a little bit faster than LSA at the moment. Yeah, so the uh, bale disruption, the baler banning is not really slowed them down that much no i don't see you don't see many teams using the fent baler yeah despite, that's why i'm uh, very intrigued why they um, chose to to ban that one very intrigued monty almost has the ideal full so see the grain cart down there on the road LSA are going to be ready to deliver theirs, and Vulture won't be too far behind from the look of it. Uh, LSA doing the dance of the Combines. <laughs> oh, yeah, both Combines now coming up to the grain cart here yeah. for Vulture. Interest interesting that uh, LSA didn't use both ideals. Right, they even secured strange. it, didn't they, and then... Didn't. I'm, I'm wondering if uh, the, the, the meta for that at the moment is secure yourself an ideal combine and then try and... But then, you know, there's no point in trying to prevent your opponents getting the second one. Right. Grain Multiplier and weird. Bridges lower Grain for multiplier. our eight-minute drops. Um, there looks like Anton's going to go. go for Grain Multiplier right well, it's Scotty's going to get there too. Oh. He's he's luckily he has the telehandler, which goes it. pretty quick. So he's slowed down into the crop a bit, but he's easily going to make it there. So both teams went for it. Both teams are ready to deliver. LSA's though is 1.6 times, and Vultures is 1.5 times. Let's see if that ends up making any sort of a difference at all. And. Unless unless LSA has more grain and now they're going to use it, it's not going to make a difference, that point one. No. I think we're going to end up at two to two yet again. Three, two, one. Oh! Okay. It did. Slightly. 2.1 to 1.9. Vultra at a disadvantage. Very interesting. All right. Though, has that gone to 2.0 to 2.0? That has gone to... Uh, no, I'm not sure. No, yes. It's, it's, <laughs> my, my quality, our feed is my a little bit hard to see. What I can see on screen isn't quite... That is 1. It's 1.9 1. 1. 9 to 2.1, 2. yeah. So, yeah. slight advantage for LSA. And I don't, I don't expect Vultra to take the time to even that out a little bit. Um, Vulture will probably just focus instead on getting one or two more bales compared to LSA pressed, which they've already been doing. LSA into the lead now, just under six minutes to go. Martin just pressing bales like mad. They do still have a, ba a three bale advantage. Basically, 
unless they have to deliver 60 bales in order to even that out thanks to the uh difference in the multiplier Oof. and scotty has not managed to load that bale on their straight i'm going to be intrigued in a minute to see what the super drop is going to be because i think it's going to be too close to call without seeing what the super drop is at the moment either team could take this first one of the best of three very much Ooh, <laughs> 186 to 174. And yeah, LSA still deficient in the bales. That that Lindner with the weight on the back, like you were saying earlier, it is like still front heavy. It's just uh, heavy enough, the weight on the back, that it looks like it's going to be sketchy at times, but it, then it corrects itself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh it's very uh, interesting to see that tractor in action oh scotty being denied of the bridge they're gonna have to go Oof. around to the static bridge here which is a little bumpy you got to be careful on it too it may not go up and down but you can still have problems with it but you, you but you still go up and down on it <laughs> right exactly you hit that bump at the wrong <laughs> angle too and you're in the moat anyways bail withering uh, um, that's for one bail for the I, red team for lsa I think um, for LSA, and one bail it might for the other actually team. be a good thing, but I don't know if it's a good thing to the point at which they want to go all the way out there to do it. Right. Yeah, it's quite a ways away, and you've got to risk, you know, taking yourself off another task just to delete one bail from the other team, where instead you could get two more pressed and brought in to make up for that. Uh, right now... Yeah. LSA have the lead, but they have a four bale advantage or uh, disadvantage. So 363 to 281, 405 to 319. It doesn't look super close on the score right now, but if both teams get all their bales in, it'll even out a little bit more. But you know, at the moment, I think LSA have kind of caught up with the bale difference, and I'm not sure Vulture have enough. Yeah, it's even bales now. Even bales and Vultra are 50 points behind. Yeah. That is not good news. I mean, and it's it's not a lot with just one bale getting two extra points per bale. But when you stack it up, you know, most of the team's bales are being delivered in these final minutes. So you're talking about, you know, 80 points difference or so. When, it, when you're getting up in the 40 bale range. That's how much of a difference this is going to make. So it really came down to LSA got a better weighted drop with that grain multiplier because they were trailing at that point of the game, and that, that might help them win in the long run. 528 to 552. And LSA uh, had and the bail advantage at the moment. Yeah. Wow. 547. Yeah. The, the, the bail deficit has gone the other way now. Right. There are only five points in this, though. So now it's going to come down to, like, Vulture need LSA to make a mistake here. They need a bail to fall yeah. off. Um, They're only five points behind right now, but they're getting their bails in earlier than LSA, so they're giving, their, they're giving Scotty more time to get them stacked. He's got this telehandler, and he's doing a really nice job. LSA, though, now back into the lead by nine points. I mean, this was this is too close to call right now, but if you if both teams get all their bales into the top that are left, this is LSA's game. But now Vultra into a nice little lead with a minute to go. Anton needs to keep his cool and just keep doing what he's been doing keep and going. stacking these. The bales, the bales are there for LSA, and LSA actually have a really decent um a bale advantage but they oh scotty look at this so scotty is waiting with those two bales to try to counter and that could make a difference for vulture if he times it right 720 to 699 six he's not in the window That's, he's gonna put oh, it on Scotty's now gonna try and time it unless they need to get bills oh no was a count did a counter happen 
It already was reset, reset. somewhere. What? Linux is going to push this one into the bottom. That that might not be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, 856, there we go. 795. Okay, well done. Wow. LSA, LSA beat Ultra. Wow. Uh, it'll go to at least the second of the best of three. Voltra now have to win the next one, or they're going into the loser's bracket. Voltra will be hoping for a little bit more luck in the drops this time around. All right, here we go. Voltra has to go. win to force a third game. And if LSA the wins, they're into the quarterfinals. Down the front. Interesting choices. Everybody going for different things. Yep, got the John Deere for LSA, the Case Combine, meanwhile, for Valtra. The looks like Valtra picked up an ideal as well, and they have the ideal they reserved. Yeah, so, yeah, Scotty now has hopped into the other ideal. So two ideals for Valtra. An ideal and a John Deere combine for LSA. And Martin and Linux both have the Deutz far. So they're going to be going down the road for first bail here. Hello to everyone on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Thank you all for tuning in today. This is the Group B Game three, our third matchup in Group B of the Season 3 Championship group stages for the Farming Simulator League. As Martin... Ooh. That's the bad thing about that Deutsch he's bar missed. is it's massive, and it's hard to fit in there. And he's kind of bumped the wall <laughs> and missed Alex is, Alex getting the bail in. He's going to try the same with a, tra <laughs> a big <laughs> tractor and an even bigger bailer. 109 no, to 105. It. So it's actually closer for LSA than it was last round. Sorry, I don't think that, like, that's that definitely stuff. not the ideal first bail setup. Like, it says it goes 70 kilometers per hour, but it's also really hefty. Yeah. It's hard to fit up yeah. under the belt, for one thing. And also, you can't drive through the crop. No, there's you, no team I chatter do, you want during to, the uh, Farming Simulator League, BMAG. Uh, you want to have a... Um, you want to have a smaller, faster tractor with the Coon Baylor to, to maximize your... Uh, to maximize that first, really. Right. I think the best strategy for first bail is to use a carewell tractor, obviously, and you go down, yeah. you reserve a baler as well. If you want to get a real high score, you reserve a baler. But that's what teams have been going away from, is reserving a baler. So without that, you have to go grab a baler, and that takes away from a little bit of the time you can get to it. But if you reserve one and you have the carewell tractor, you drive straight through the crop, you go through the far right bridge, do the drive-by flick, score that if you do, and then go drive through the middle bridge. And then if the other team is trailing you, all of a sudden they have to go to the far left bridges to get to the barn. Good morning, hey, Big Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Welcome along. Speaking of someone that uh, knows that uh, <laughs> tactic I was just explaining about first bail, well, he's been practicing it a lot in the scrimmages and in the own uh, separate FS, uh, SGA practices. He's been really practicing the first bail and getting in the 135 plus range quite a lot, quite consistently. Rumble Strip on YouTube says, been good matches. Glad you're having a good time. We are too. We still have two more matchups to go after this in the loser's bracket. The winner of this matchup will advance to next month's quarterfinals. The loser will go into game five in the loser's bracket. Uh, we still have game four in between to happen. That is going to be Lindner against Diatka Anfeld. So right now, Vultra taking command of the multiplier. 
Let's see what LSA have up their sleeve. Linux is on foot for some reason. Must have left the... So they're going to do the grain chain uh, for delivering their grain. And Linux is bunny hopping his way, I guess, to a different tractor or a combine or something. I'm going to look at Monty in the ideal harvesting away for Voltra. Oh, we did. So we have had a grain delivery. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, so LSA are, are waiting. They're, they're playing the long game. They've got yeah. their grain cart there full, but they're going to bring the combines in too. And neither team has I any guess they are hoping for that eight that eight minute uh, mark for the grain. They're hoping multiplier. for it to go in if their favor hits, again. Yeah. Oh, if that hits and if they have that amount of grain, hits the eight minute mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is what I mean. This is where Vulture Martin messed up on his first points. bail, dropped it. Um, LSA were just kind of slow off the mark. Both teams were using the Deutz far uh, for first bail, and so it's a little bit trickier. Oh wait! Oh, that was not intentional. Unless he was he was he's jumping a little bit so he can keep going closer to the barn. I think is what. I don't think he's doing. They're doing a Lindner strategy of loading up the bales. I think that was just so he could keep going towards the barn and creating straw, um, and then he'll take the yeah. combine full over to the silo. Because you like to cut through that with the header yeah. off, you're going to be slowed down significantly. So not a bad idea there to do it that way. You can lose a little bit of grain to do that, but uh, yeah. If you could use joysticks, I'd like to start a logging lead of Egon on FS19. That'd be interesting. Who could who could deliver the most logs? <laughs> That's uh, Hunter McCoy over on the face stream. Now watching, now watching the chats on four streams. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. Because we got two streams running on Facebook at the moment. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I was just looking at this one, and you were yeah. looking at the other one, which was nice that we had both covered <laughs> earlier, at least. Where, where are all these? Where are all these chats coming from on the Facebook stream? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing them. Here comes oh, Surin we've now. Got two. <laughs> for LSA. So yeah, here comes. Oh, and it was, uh, so the drops right. picked up were just sl slow down. We're um, both this slow. Ah. But nonetheless, um, briefly, LSA are going to have a multiplier advantage. But here comes Monty now, and it's going to be wiped out by the time he gets there and unloads this auger wagon. But he is slow, so it's going to take him longer to get there. Yeah, but I also don't think LSA are ready to deliver bales at this at this point. So, no. this is going to end up pretty much being even. This is so, a much of a muchness. This one, and the bale count only uh, one more right now for LSA. I would imagine that this is just going to end up being two to two when all is said and yeah. done. You can see the effect of Archimedes here. Definitely. With, uh, the fact that uh, Vultra is able to unload it quicker. But as I said, I don't think it makes any difference. Yeah, By it's not as big of an advantage as you would think. Emptied, I think. I think teams have kind of got stuck in their ways a little bit, picking Archimedes. They could They could very easily yeah. use those I mean, points. Archimedes to is one point. Elsewhere. So it's not super expensive, but you could choose instead to use six cents and know where the drops are going to be. Um, you would, yeah. You're given two possible locations for the super drop. That could be really handy. Um, you could choose head start instead and just set off immediately whenever you enter a tractor or harvester. Save yourself a little bit of time. So I think you've got a point there. A lot of teams seem to go under pressure Archimedes as the setup, but... When both teams are delivering grain and canceling each other out, it really doesn't make that I mean, much you, of a difference. You can you can see now both teams sitting at a two point zero. Right. And let's say without Archimedes has given them no advantage whatsoever. Right. On Vulture's side. 
And I, and, I, and, this, and, and I think you're right. I think LSA have a have a thing where they could. Oh, they used it to ban a Baylor. Right. Yeah. They've been I banning the fan you Baylor could get a each time. Perk. Right. I mean, to be fair to LSA, it worked last time, but they also were a bit fortunate getting that uh, brain multiplier. So. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see now with both teams at 2.0, who's going to come out on top in this second of the best of three. Because I think without that extra point one in the multiplier and scoring two extra points per bail last time, that it would have been a lot closer of a contest and maybe Vulture would have come out on top. Because Vulture have had the best first bail each round, although this time it was a lot less of a gap, only five points difference, I believe, 109 to 104. Um, but there's been, like, neither team has scored combo points or counter points in the first one or in this one yet, I don't think. So if they're going bail for bail, Wait, where it's, it's going to come down to who stacks better, who makes less mistakes, and right. who presses more bails and gets them all in, too. Absolutely. It is... Yeah, 19 bales to 18. This is this is a straight up who can get the bales in the best. And Vultra is coming in. Now, what I would like to see Monty do at this point, because I don't think they've got a put stacker them in the down the other end. Oh, here yeah, comes Anton now. Put them now. in the bottom. Shove them in right now. <laughs> Anton is in, not in position to counter it. Throw them in the bottom and, and score that extra 10 points. Lord Baylor for two bales is our super drop. So that would score two bales, basically. It is fairly basically. close. Yeah, it's not far away. I'd like to see a team go for this because it's going to give you two extra bales. That could end up being the difference. Yeah. You see, Monty, Monty missed the opportunity. Yep. And, it's, and, and that is the kind of disruptive thing you want to play. And again... LSA coming in. Scotty's not there. Scotty is not in position to counter it. They could have thrown all those in the bottom and saved themselves a ton of time. And it's just... There's there, there's an awareness, really, of what the other team is doing. And you can see where the other team is and what they're doing most of the time uh, I think through the, the mini-map. I think the problem might be that at this point of the season, teams are too comfortable with how they usually play. And so... They're not willing oh. to adapt that strategy. Like, Vulture are very good at bringing the loader in and stacking the bales on the belt. But why not there? Throw those in and potentially get some combo points. Yeah. Yeah, Danger Cat, you, know, you said, how does you're... this work? Competitive FS play, I don't get it. Is it first to X amount of profit? No. You deliver grain that increases your multiplier for the multiplier affects points scored for bales that are going into the upper part of the barn via this conveyor like you see now and you score points by delivering bales there's a lot more to it than that with team perks player perks drops and super drops and the like that can change the outcome of a match but that's the gist of it 409 to 397 with just over two to go now 437 lsa into the lead 18 bales a piece so at the moment if teams if the teams go bail for bail and get all of them in lsa's got this lsa also has another advantage they have the chrome bailer they can abandon the anderson and get uh bail three bails at a time back in these crucial final moments right You know, if there's 14 bales out there for the Anderson, the Anderson picks those up, and then the Crone just keeps going out and back and, and, and delivering extra bales. Hey, Twisted Soccer. Welcome along. So, you know what? The Crone, I forgot that the Crone Baler had been patched, and it actually has the same fill volume as the Fent and the Coon Baler now. Yeah. And yet it holds three. The work speed is slow, but that's pretty impressive. 557 to 549. One minute to go. Ooh, so. Getting that off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't. Ooh, oh, no. Don't be making these mistakes Anton now, Anton. Anton's control of the tractor. <laughs> he needs to get that back. It's 50 that seconds track, left, and Scotty is piling them on. That Lintrack definitely can be a little bit sketchy. They're handling it 
uh, well so far. And Scotty going for the combo. He's got it. I think Voltra have pulled. Thanks for everyone in chat helping out newcomers to the stream to understand how the FSL works. 20 seconds to go. Linux is going to put one into the bottom here. Two, oh, seven, eight. Oh, that's a bail tactic. That's why. And then let's say go back into the lead. That's Nine why he was to put go. one at the bottom. Oh, my goodness. Martin's oh, got to get this one. 827. They both got, take it. They both had one left and couldn't seconds. get him in. And LSA are moving on to the quarterfinals. The 10th oh place God. team is into the final eight of the season three championships. And that is our first major upset of the day. However, Vulture are not completely out.